What is up guys, Spencer TV back here with another video and today's video guys is another challenge, like a towing challenge. As you can tell we have the red 06 Duramax here jacked up, love this thing. It is going to be putting, getting put to the test today guys, it has the lift kit, it has all the nice little fancy stuff on here with the tires and then so yeah, like I said we're going to be putting it to the test, we have, we're going to be throwing a bunch of a bunch of hay bales on the back of these hay bale uh, these uh, trailers here and then they also have a hitch in the back so then we will connect a dolly onto another one and then a, a hit, hitch to dolly to another one and it'll just keep going down the line and I will actually show these are actually auto trailers so these are mods these are not in game if you guys can tell already it says big daddy backyard not really sure what that means or what that's for but uh, may, maybe some of you guys do and what we're going to be doing is auto loading. These are auto load trailers. And over here, guys, let me just show you something that is absolutely hilarious. This new Holland uh, baler here. Here, check this out. Let me hop in. I'll, I'll let it speak for itself. Let's turn it on and then just watch this. Look at that, guys. Is that not insane? It literally just poops it out. Like, one, two, three, like... That's probably like 20 bales, 30 bales right there. Just And it, it, this is a mod, guys. It's it's meant for like doing a bunch of hay bales really quickly. But that thing is intense. It, that's crazy. And then what we're going to do is just drive by. And these are going to be all hooked up. And we will auto load each and every single one of them. Because we just drive by and they go. They just plop on really quick. So I believe the most time consuming thing will be actually like getting them up. Or get, getting them all connected. So that's why I got my four-wheeler here. So there we go. Let's hop in here and get started on the process of attaching them. I know you guys really like these, like, towing challenges and stuff. We, we've done a lot of big bud towing challenges. Uh, hooked up a bunch of harvesters, stuff like that. Big, big loads full of dirt and stuff. But this time I thought, you know, the big bud, we, we beat it the last video. And I'm like, okay, the big bud is too powerful. Let's go test out. The Duramax. I love using Duramax. I know a lot of you guys like it too. And it's probably the most used pickup truck right now, honestly. But uh I just want to test it out. I love I love the paint job on it. It just it just looks super nice. And then so this is how I'm doing it, guys. I'm sure you've seen me do this before. I get as close as I can. Oops. And then press G. And then I detach, come around, and here let's straighten it out. I come around and tap the dolly into place. Just okay, a little too far. Maybe I can Maybe I can hit that like that and swing it back over. Ooh, a little too far. Let me go on the other side, tap it back. That was bad. Bad example. But anyway, you kind of get the gist. I get as close as I can with the four-wheeler, and then I just back up a hair in the Duramax. There, that should be good. Run up here, hop into the Duramax, back it up like a, a half a foot, and then it should connect. So it's turned on here. There we go. Attach. And then pull it out some more. Let's get out and buy some more. Okay, so yeah, we have a bunch of money too. So where is that bailing technology? And then here's our flatbed trailer we're going to need. Let's do three more right now. Two and three. And then, and then we will also need, what else do we need? We need the dollies to hook them up. It's kind of annoying how we need dollies. I'm sure there are a bunch of other auto load bail, bail trailers out there without uh, the gooseneck hookup. But... It's alright. It, it looks pretty nice. It's just kind of hard to back up and move with all these moving parts and points and stuff. So let's hop back into the Cryptic Quad, baby. I love the tracks on this thing. And and also, if you haven't seen it before, it says subscribe to the squad. Lambo actually made this. And it has subscribe to the squad all over it. And then Spencer TV in the back. So that, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. And yeah, shout out to Lambo for that. And then so let's pull over here. And hook up to our dolly and then connect to our trailer. There we are. Yeah, guys, this video is going to be the, the Duramax. I don't know how it's going to handle it. I really don't. We're here. Let me loop around. We're going to get this end one. We're literally going to get like hundreds. We'll probably get more than 100 bales for sure on on the back of the Duramax. That's insane. So let's, let's loop, swing wide. We need to swing. These trailers are big. They're very large, and they're nice, too. I love how it has the wood on top. It's a very clean, honestly, like, looking trailer. Okay, let's not do that. And then 
Swing wide here and pull right next to the other ones, just like I showed you. So this is going to be number uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be number five, and our first one's already full. Honestly, I didn't even feel a big weight difference. I was kind of worried about that, but I'm sure once we get like ten of these babies hooked up full of hay bales, guys, it, it's going to get pretty, pretty crazy. So let's hop back into the Dermax. I'm not going to tab around. I'll just run up here real quick. And yeah, it stacks it too high. I forgot to mention that. So so we don't mess around out here, guys. It's a lot of hay bales. And then the trailers themselves kind of like, you you feel it on the Dermax. You really do. So let's let's hustle back. Go pick up. So that, that was our fifth one. We're going to do five more before we go and fill anything. And I believe I'll need to like individually select the trailer, press G to switch through my trailers, and then like you press X and it'll just kind of you just drive by them and it hooks it up. It's honestly so simple. The most time-consuming thing is really gonna be just hooking them up. And and yeah, let's get a couple more on here. There we go. Let's throw it back there. These dollies are almost as big. Oh my gosh, I guess. These dollies are almost as... They probably are bigger than my four-wheeler. I think they are. It looks like they are. Oops. And then attached. There we are. Beautiful. Swing wide again. I Oh, we're hitting it. Oh, we're hitting it. Come on, baby. We're, oh. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, like I said, I probably should have took the end one. But I love every time we hook up to a trailer, the noise it makes, the hydraulic like system kicking in. It sounds so good. So let's back up here. Big Daddy Backyard. That's honestly kind of funny. I'm kind of curious on like what that's – is it a brand? I'm not I'm not sure. I, I really don't know, honestly. If you guys go in the comment section and tell me, I'm, I'm kind of curious on exactly what the whole Big Daddy situation back there uh, is for. So let's tap it back over. That That's pretty good. That's pretty lined up. Here, I'll just drive up here. It'll be – honestly, it'll be quicker. Now, what I should do – is go to leave engine on. Oops, it was back here. There we go. And then, so I'll just leave this baby running. Hop in here. And it. Oop, we gotta press enter to start it. And we'll need to back up an inch. Oh, it should have attached by now. Okay, let's let's go down there and see what's wrong. It should have attached. I don't want it like pushing. Yeah. We need to go back down there and fix it. Did I not press enter? There we go. Okay, so let's hustle down there and see. Guys, we're going kind of slow. Uh, like I said, this is the most time-consuming thing. What the? Did we already attach or something? We must already attach. Okay. Is that attached? Or is it just right on and it didn't give me the option? Okay, it's attached. Good. Oh, I did, did I even press Q? I must have done it. Like, right when I start, hopped into the vehicle. I don't know. That was weird. I didn't even realize I pressed Q. What? Okay, so let's zip around here on the four-wheeler. There we are. Beautiful. And then hook up to another dolly. And then, guys, let's begin this time-lapse here. And I will see you guys once we have ten hooked up. And we will go load some hay bales.
Okay, guys, we just got 10 done, guys. We just got 10 dollies and, and uh, the flatbeds on here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. Now, while I was loading them up during the time lapse, I just thought of something. I don't think we can be, I don't think we're able to like even get it inside the field because it's fenced off. There is a turn in back there, but it's very, very small. And we need something very, very wide because, guys, we got a big load and turning into anything is honestly not an option. But, oh, there it is. Okay, there, there's a big gate. So what I'm going to do, guys, is come out here, come out into the field and literally, guys, this is a train. We, the Duramax is pulling a train. Now we can come back and hook up more for sure. If this, guys, look at that. That's so funny. Oh, that's so cool. Um, wait, can we touch? Let, I, I want to try something real quick. Let, let's slow it down, too. Can we touch? Yeah, I, I should be able to. Can I touch? Can I, like, connect? Boom, we did it. Look at that. That's pretty cool. But anyway, let's go straight out here. And then we're going to go through here. And let me get my controls up. There they are. But the, the weird thing is, guys, I thought this was really weird. It, in the, Usually in the bottom right-hand corner where my tractor symbol is, maybe it's because I'm hooked up with a truck, but it does not show me like all my trailers hooked up. Maybe because they're mods, I don't know. It, it just usually does that, and I, I don't really like it when it doesn't do it. But let's go G, and let's see if that second one starts loading. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, maybe we're still on the first one. Here, let's... Uh-oh. Rut row. It doesn't show that they're hooked up. No. Okay, what I'm going to do... Here, let's try something. Let's try... Yeah, that's super... Oh, okay. Wait... But then, what is up with this? So we're attached, right? Okay, everything's attached. Now, will that... I don't know, guys. It's weird. Now, let's work position and start driving. Uh, no. No. Okay, so right now, so if you guys don't, if some of you don't play Farm Simulator, the truck right now is the one that's like controls. It, the control panels are for the truck. When I press G, it's the it's the it's the yellow one right there. That's what it's talking about. But then when I press G again, it, it goes back to the truck. I'm a little worried about that because it's not gonna let me come and hook all these up, and that's not good. We need to be able to do that. Maybe it's the truck. Here, let me buy an in-game semi. Or, oops, I click tractors. We'll go back. Get trucks. And then let's just buy the barrel core lizard. There we go. Just yellow one. Who cares? Just buy it real quick. And then we will drive over, pick it up, and then hook up. And hopefully that gives us... I, I'm maybe, maybe it's the trailer. That's why it's happening. But hopefully it's not. Hopefully we can get it working here, guys. Because I'm going to be P.O.'d if it doesn't. Oh, my gosh. It's all on the line, guys. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It's all on the line. Will this work? Now, if say it doesn't, which it probably won't, what I'm thinking is we're going to have to individually get them all, like, individually. Here, I'm going to have to go all the way. Am I? Can I fit in there? No, probably not. I'm going to have to individually, like, hook them up and then load them and then hook them back up. So what we just did, we might have to do that twice and then some. So that's what I'm nervous about because it's going to be very time consuming. If that is the case, then I'll just cut it and, and we'll we'll come back when I have that done. But oh my gosh, this thing's a beast. It, the turn is not as good. Okay, Let, let's get into the Duramax and then uh, detach from that and then get the barrel core going and see if it makes it. Okay, why did I take this route? We just smoked that bale. Absolutely smoked it. And then let's hop in the Duramax, detach, and then... Oh, this is annoying. 
Maybe. I don't know. It's weird. It's so weird. This is so weird. Here, we'll wait. Before we do anything, let's keep driving. It's not working, huh? Square bales. No, Z, round ones. Coming soon. So the, I believe it's the first one. So I'm flipping through here. Round bales, 1.3 meters are the ones that we're looking at, the ones that we're going for. And I don't know exactly what trailer. Okay, and then work position is X. Okay, let's. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the one, two, three, four, fifth one right now is actually picking it up. Which is good news. Good news. That's good news. So let's drive around here. Oh my gosh. We just literally. We could easily get stuck here. That's what I'm kind of worried about. This is. This is crazy. Okay. So that fifth one guys. That's the one that's going to pick them up. There it goes. It's picking them up. There it is. You can see it way back there. It's getting really big honestly. Okay. And then, is that full? No, it just has one row. So we're going to make, make another pass and try and fill that baby up. Honestly, let's. what we should do is get all this stuff out of the way. But let's just drive through here one more time. We'll drive right through there. Okay, I, too much speed, too much weight going. But hopefully that baby hooks it all up good. There we go. Okay, it looks like it's full. Okay, good, good, good. It is full. Awesome. So now, I'm going to press G again, and we're back on the truck. But then I press G again, and press Z, and we're on round bales and work position. Okay, okay. So now the sixth one, the sixth trailer. Okay, this is, this is kind of a learning experience for me. But the sixth one right now, here, let me hop out and hop into our New Holland. Now the sixth one is going to be the one picking them up. So when I do another pass here, that'll be the one that's working. Honestly, let's just go down here and start engine, enter, and then turn it on. Let's poop. Guys, that's so funny. Look at this. It's like a machine gun. and They're just flying out. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. It's pretty cool, though. We honestly don't even need, like, should I make a path? Here, let's, let's try this. Let's try this. Oh, I got to turn it off. Let's try. If I can make a path and then we can... Yes, yes, yes. This is awesome. This is, this is like driving your car through a bunch of zombies. What we're going to do is take a big lap around and drive the Duramax right through it so that both sides will be working and like picking it up. Okay, okay. We are learning a lot. Okay, this is good. I like our strat that we're working. Hop in the Duramax. And you see that, guys? It's like plowing snow. There we go. Swing very wide, as wide as we can. Hit a couple bales there. Hit another one. Hit another one. Oh, nope. Okay. So the fifth one. There it goes. There it goes. It's working. It should get a bunch here. It should be full after one pass. At least we hope so. Okay, it is. It is. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is make another pass and then press G twice. And out here, let's do it right now. G, it's back on the truck. Then G, it's on the seventh one, I believe. So we have three full tippers, and I am feeling it. I'm not going to lie. I really do feel the weight and how much it's actually working right now. So let's make another drive by here. Okay. I should have swung a little wider. It's going to get caught back there. It's going to get caught. Okay. Let's bring it back. We might need to get that baler going again. But the seventh... Oh, okay, we forgot. We forgot to do something. Z and then X. Okay, now it's gone. Now it's gone. Good, good. It's looking good so far. Gosh dang, I can't believe I forgot that. We might have to get that baler going again. But honestly, it's working good. It's working really good. I do feel it, though. Like, once we get speed going, it kind of cruises. But when, it, when I'm starting from nothing, the Duramax is struggling. Oh, my gosh. So let's take... Let's take the baler again. I'll stop right there. 
Like, it rolls forever with all that weight behind it. And then let's drive over. Beautiful. And where should I start? Just right here. We'll turn it on B. And she's starting to poop. Look at that. It's just shooting everywhere. It's so funny. It's absolutely so funny to watch. That's so cool. This is so much money, guys. Every single time it just goes to 100, 100, 100. And just keeps going. Oh, my gosh. We'll, we'll honestly just go all the way down. Because we can. And look at that, guys. That is so sick. It's like... I don't even know what it looks like. Okay, let's... Okay, let's tab around. Try and hop back into the Duramax. That's the wrong one. Boom, boom, boom. There we are. Okay, what one are we on now? Okay, we still need that last one. Oh, I guess we... Okay, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's hop into the Macy Ferguson and just drive by. This is actually what I used to mow most of this grass. I know I forgot the front mower, but anyway, let's just use this, and we can fold the mowers up because we don't need it. We just need to make a tiny path so that we can drive through here, hopefully. Honestly, should I? I'll just use, I'll use the barrel core. Gosh, this is taking forever, but anyway, we're going to fill that thing up. This is going to be sick. I love doing these challenges. They do take a while, but they're fun little experiments on what you can actually do with Farming Simulator. And so let's just plow right through these guys. Oh, she's getting, she's fighting. This is a lot of work for her, but it's making a good path. That's so cool. It's just like mowing or like snow. It's like snow plowing. It feels like I'm snow plowing snow, but besides it's a bunch of expensive hay bales. So there we go. And then, yeah, we'll just drive right through it until she's full. And then we'll get out of here. And honestly, let's just drive back over because it'll be quicker than running and quicker than tabbing. So let's drive back over to the Duramax. It's looking sick. That train is going to be locked and loaded with hay bales fairly shortly here. There we go. That one's flying. We can almost play soccer with these things. I thought of a video idea uh, that we could all like play soccer with it or something. I hate the Duramax goes like right over it. Gosh dang it. But let's keep driving. Maybe maybe it's a little too small, but it'll work. Hopefully it works. We still aren't even at the one that we that we need. There we go. It's loading up. It should it's it's done. It's done. Okay, so we go G and G again. And then Z and X. Okay, now that last one will be working. Okay, we are driving over these things. It's insane. There we go. It's picking it up. Now that one's already done. Okay, we are doing good here. GG. And then what do we press now? Z. Oh, are we back? Was that the last one? Okay. Let me get this baler out of the way. Oops, we keep shooting a bunch. Okay, let's turn it off. Just get out of the way so the Duramax has room to roam. Perfect. And we should be able to get that 10th one done and then maybe start going back to the second one. I don't know. We'll see here. But we finally figured it out. Okay. Are we going to get stuck? I should have made. I should have used the baler with the header on it. Okay. We are stuck. That's not good. Go in reverse. Turn. Okay. We're stuck. Gosh dang it. That was, this is the first time we got stuck, but honestly, Dermax has been being a beast with all that weight on it. So let's fly around here, and what I'm going to do is kind of just, yeah, I should have plowed it better. I don't know if that's going to help at all, but let's see. Oh, we're still stuck. We're, oh, they're like all underneath me and stuff. Gosh dang it. No, no, this isn't good. This is not good, guys. This is not good at all. Let's come back around. We need to fill this baby up. Oh, that was a pretty hardcore lag. And then let's come back around. I don't know. This is look. This is not looking good, guys. 
Well, it's just because it, if it was like a perfect line, it would be so much easier. But it just shoots it out like a cr madman. Okay, that looks better. There's nothing really underneath it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's let's take it easy here. There we go. Is that last one working? There, now it's loading up. Okay, that one's already full. And then we'll we'll have to make another whole pass. So right now the last one is the one that's showing. Okay, honestly, we only have three left. Three left. We have seven done. Or excuse me, we have six done and four left. So let's drive around here, make another pass. So we're in the tenth one. Then we'll go back to the truck to, to the first one, and then we'll have to do the cycle again. Hopefully you guys are understanding what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to explain. You kind of just have to have feel for it. So let's swing super wide again so we can line it up pretty easily. There we are. We're doing some drifting with all these trailers on here. Well, it, it is a train. I, I'm feeling the weight, though, but the Duramax is doing good. Okay, so let's. what are we doing now? So let's go... G back to the truck, then G again. G back to the truck, G again. And then press that, and then work position. Okay, now the second one, guys. Hopefully the second one is going to be the one picking stuff up. Okay. I haven't seen anything yet. I don't think we're close enough. There we go. We're, do we're doing, we're cooking with peanut oil now, guys. There we are. Drive through there. We should get that baby f full. There we are. Keep driving. Keep picking up. And one more. Is that good? There. Okay. Now we go G, G, and then X and Z and X again. Okay, now the third one is going. Hopefully one more pass and this all can be good. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, that one's good. That one's good. G, G, and then... There we go. Okay. The fourth one. The fourth one's going right now. We might need to make another pass. But hopefully we can get this fourth one done in this pass right here. And yeah, we're okay, we're gonna we're gonna make another pass for the last one of the day, guys. Okay. The Duramax is doing super good. It's not even getting faced. Think about how much weight is actually hooked up here, guys. That's such an insane amount of hay bells. And we can produce such an insane amount of hay bales, but that's that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's swing wide once again. Break, break, break. We're doing some drifting back there. And then are we we're still on the ninth or the the last one we did, so we need to switch over. Z and then X again, and it should be going. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We'll go right along the fence and take all all the ones that are left, pretty much. Is it gone? Yep, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. I was a little worried there. I was like, what the? Let's get really close. There we go. It's starting to pick them up. Perfect. Perfect. We're almost full, guys. On to the second level. Get it. Let's get it. Okay. Let's not do that. That's what you get for not paying attention. No. Get these hay bales out of here. No, guys. No. We're, we're so close. We're so close to having it full, and Spencer does that. I'll admit, I'm not the best driver. It's true. If you guys are a regular watcher, stuff like this happens all the time, but... Let's fix it. Let's fix it. We always have to have an open mind. We can do this. Let's fix this. We, okay, guys. We actually got one, two, three, four. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys. We did get ten. There we go. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. This was one of our craziest towing challenges that we have done in hauling challenges. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.